Hello world! It has been a while, hasn't it? Well, I thought I'd come back online for a little bit just to make an update video. Or, well, actually it's more of a rant because I do have a lot that's been on my mind that I want to talk about but have not really been able to find the words to talk about. Um, so instead of worrying about how I'm gonna sound, I think today I'm just gonna come out and say it regardless of how it's gonna sound like. So yeah, how's everyone doing? I'm sure we're all in the same situation, aren't we? We're all still stuck in the pandemic. Um, year 2020 was hard. Um, we've been doing our best, we've been trying our best, and there was a bit of a glimmer of hope for 2021. Um, for borders to open and for us to not be grounded anymore. But that glimmer of hope is slowly floating away as we see it as, you know, the world has not gotten better. <laughs> so yeah, um, I am having serious pandemic fatigue right about now and I'm sure a lot of people have been as well. Um, I've been on my own for quite some time now. I've had very little human contact. I've just been rattling around on my own in my house, in my dungeon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so which brings me to the topic of why have I been offline and why have I not been creating new content? So, as you know, I started OnlyFans um, because YouTube was taking off a lot of my content and a lot of, um, and I was getting also a lot of very um, more specific demands on YouTube, um, which YouTube would not support. Uh, so OnlyFans became an alternative platform where I could post whatever I wanted and express myself and be as creative as I can without being censored. Um, but because of the border closure, uh, my slaves have not been able to come in. So that is why I have not been able to film. Yeah, so with that, and I've also obviously not been able to leave the country. So I've not been able to, um, I've not been able to go and work with the crew overseas. I've not been able to go and see other people overseas or see the community overseas. And that really has put a big damper on my creative streak. So it kind of goes without saying as well that if you put yourself out on the internet, you are opening yourself up to comments, critiques, and haters. And I used to have the mindset that if you have haters, you're getting somewhere, you're getting famous. But, <laughs> no, not really famous, but anyway, you, you get the drift. So, but it's come to a point where I am upset. <laughs> um, I get lots of messages from people asking for lots of requests. I get lots of people asking for, you know, mistress, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you film this? Can you film that? Will you cane me? Will you spank me? Can I come and see you, mistress? So, which is absolutely not cool because I, first of all, I don't pro dom and I never will pro dom. And that is also why I'm not recruiting video slaves or part-time casual slaves because this is my personal home, this is my private space and I just don't feel safe. I'm not at a point, I'm not at a place where I feel safe about inviting men of the internet to come and, come and see me. So that is why no, uh, I am not taking applications for male slaves. Um, and also, it's been really hard to find the sort of talent I need here in terms of photographers, crew, um, videography. So I've not been able to go back to Europe in since the pandemic started. And I've not been able to go to places where I've got a very established crew and team that know what I want and know um, how to work with me. So trying to produce content on that same level has been very challenging and it's also been very, very um, disenchanting because you try to find someone, you get all dressed up, I put on my makeup, find a location, and by the way, locations here are not easy to find at all. I am just not inspired. Um, and then you go out there, you do a shoot, and then you pictures come back, and a lot of them are not up to par, they're not up to my standards, they're not what I like, and I put in all that effort for stuff that I cannot use. So 
it comes to a point where you just feel, you know what? I'm just gonna step away. I'm gonna take a break because I don't need this. You know, I've life gets in the way and some other important things have taken center stage, such as my other businesses, um, my either my, my other financial commitments, and I honestly really don't need fetish to pay my bills. This is what I do for fun. And this is also, you know, this is why I don't pro dom. You know, I, I love what I do, which is domination. This is how I've lived my life for the last decade or so. And I can't put a price tag on it. I don't want to turn it into work because I don't want to resent it. So yeah, when people start writing me, asking me for sessions or for bookings or for, you know, mistress, will you do this and that? I'm like, okay, but you know, you want all this from me, but how are you adding value to my life? You know, I don't actually want to cane you because I don't know who you are. Um, yeah, and all sorts of complicated shit like that. Um, it's also been really, really hot. I know I get so many requests for latex outdoors, but I just, you know, with not, I don't have a team that is um, competent or experienced enough to film latex here. And, you know, the weather out there right now is 36, 38 degrees Celsius on a daily basis. I've been hoping so hard that we get good weather, but that's not been happening. Um, the humidity has been murder. So yeah, that's why I'm sitting, I'm standing here in the dungeon with the air conditioning running and I'm not running out there with my latex things on, however hot and sexy that might sound. So being on my own for so long, I've started, you know, new projects, new endeavors. And if you have noticed, I have started, I've also started waist training. And if you've been following my, some of my other social media accounts, you might have seen other pictures of me being corseted or tightly waisted. Um, yeah, so this here is not, this is actually isn't even my smallest corset. This is a 20 inch corset. And um, on a good day, I'm actually lacing down to about 18 right now but I am taking it very easy, I'm taking it very gently, I am really enjoying the process. I mean, I don't really have anything else to do anyway at this time. <laughs> so yeah, um, waist training has become a way to ground myself. I really enjoy the schedule, I really enjoy the routine, and I also really, really love how sick this looks. So I might make a video in the future to talk about tight lacing and waist training, um, if I feel like it. So that could be on the cards. But for now, yeah. Um, so I've taken a very big step away from all the kink communities because it's very difficult when you're not in the country. Um, I've taken, I've stopped meeting people, I've stopped actively looking for people because, well, pandemic and other reasons. Um, quality is just not there. Um, and, you know, I still, I mean, I am very grateful for the existing boys that I have. Um, for the male slaves that check in with me remotely, you know, thank you very much. I'm always very, very, um, I'm always reminded of how valuable these people are to me and how important they are in my life, especially when I deal with other mental health issues and stuff. So, yeah, um, these people are now considered my inner circle and these are the people that I do not want to cut out of my life and have not cut out of my life. So if you are listening, if you are one of them, I want to say thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys are valuable to me and I love every single one of you. Mwah. In, in these strange times, there has been a lot of more pressure than usual to do OnlyFans. Um, there's been a lot of pressure to do pornography, which again, I will never, never, ever do. You know, I like sex, but it doesn't mean that I want to be paid for sex. It doesn't want, mean that I want to earn money with sex. So, you know, that's another thing that's completely off the cards and one thing that I'll never, never touch. So, um, yeah, and it's I've noticed that the more I try to push it, the more I try to monetize something, the less I end up loving it. I feel like I'm not putting what I want to do into the content. I'm doing what other people want me to do, if that makes any sense. And that has really, really taken a lot of the life out of my work. So, I mean, I don't have to do this for money. I've never done it for money. This has always, always been a labor of love. I mean, I don't, if I wanted to monetize this, I rent it out, right? But no, it's so mine. You can't have any of this. You can't touch it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, and it's just, 
it's at a point where it's feeling it's not worth it as well, you know. Go through all that work for what? For five bucks? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so, you know, I've got other businesses that are keeping me afloat and life gets in the way. Um, I've got more pressing financial concerns and... So, yeah, that's my blah 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 for today. Um... I don't honestly don't know when I will be back full time. I think it really depends on whether the borders will open again. Um, it depends on whether I can travel again or when it's feasible to travel. I'm really hoping that they start rolling vaccines out. I think they're not rolling them out fast enough if I'm honest. Um, realistically, it will be a while before I get mine. So I... You know, I might just be sitting tight here for a while and maybe getting this even smaller by the time you see me again. So yeah, um, I hope everyone stays safe. Thank you for listening, I guess. This is not really about you listening anyway, it's just about me getting shit off my chest, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so stay safe and take the vaccine when it's offered to you. And this is Queen Cobra signing off for now. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.